Hello, well, I'm going to talk about um, Roman numerals. And Roman numerals um, was the number system used in the Roman Empire a few thousand years ago or so. And they've been used ever since really um, on things like buildings, the dates on buildings and inscriptions. Um, at the end of TV programs, you can sometimes see Roman numerals. So they crop up here and there. And I think it's pretty cool to be able to read them. They're also part of various um, courses like the Key Stage 2 SATs in the UK. You have to know your Roman numerals and various other things. So let's have a look at the Roman numerals. The first Roman numeral is 1. That's a, the Roman numeral there on the left. And that denotes, guess what? one because people um count on their fingers don't they i sometimes count on my fingers it's very useful to be able to count on our fingers and um, we'll always have our fingers hopefully so um the romans denoted one by holding up one finger now v means five and v actually is supposed to show originally a thumb and a finger so it shows a hand there's a thumb and there are all the fingers you can put your hand into a v and of course we have five fingers don't we usually so or you could say we have four fingers and a thumb but that's still five digits so that's why v means five in the roman numerals x means 10 and it means that because actually that's kind of two V's. There's a V at the top and a V at the bottom. So that's two hands upside down, I suppose. But it's still five plus five. That's ten, you see. Okie dokie. Now, L equals 50. And don't ask me why L equals 50. You can look it up and research it if you want. There's a long, complicated reason. But anyway, L is 50. C is 100 and the latin for 100 is centum and latin is the language the romans used centum and it happens to be um that that means 100 words like for example centipede is a little wormy thing with 100 legs century is 100 years there are 100 centimeters in a meter so then d represents 500. Don't ask me again why that is. You can look it up and research it. There's a long complicated reason. And M means 1,000. And the Latin word for 1,000 happens to be mille, I do believe. Words like millennium, a 1,000 years. And I think M actually doesn't stand for um, mille. There's a, a long, complicated reason, but it's handy to remember, isn't it? I find it is anyway. So, Roman numerals, da, 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 da. Roman numerals, basically, the big numbers, the bigger numbers go to the left, generally speaking, and then the smaller numbers to the right. For example, if we have M, M, X, X. Well, we've got one M, that's a thousand, isn't it? Boop, 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 boop. Then we've got another M, that's another thousand, plus another thousand. Then we've got 10 and 10. So obviously a thousand and a thousand is 2,000. A 10 and a 10 is 20. So that is the year. I am doing this video in which is 2020 a year never to be forgotten so other ones um, 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 um so let's see no, 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 no. what else would I do? oh yeah so for example it could be v or one 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 well v is five it's gone on the top of the computer screen now that's that's five plus one one and one is three so that's Roman numerals for eight. 
Or what about L X? Well, L is a Roman numeral for 50. So we've got 50 plus 10 equals 60. Isn't that lovely? So then let's do some more complicated ones, shall we? More complicated ones. Challenge ourselves. That's always important, isn't it? So we've got M D C C C. Oh my gosh, this is challenging ourselves, isn't it? X X. Well, that looks horrible, but it's not really horrible because we just have to add them up. M is 1,000 plus D is 500 plus CCC. Well, C is 100, so if you've got three of them, that's 300, isn't it? Plus L, well, that's 50. Well, then we've got XX. Well, X is 10, so two X's is 20. So that's going to be... <laughs> 1,500, 600, 700, 800, 1,870. That's a long time ago, isn't it? When Queen Victoria was on the throne. So let's do another one. I'm going to what's the next one I had. Oh, yeah, there's another one. So let's do another one. M, L, X, V, 1. Well, M is 1,000 plus L is 50 plus X is 10. V1, well, V is 5 and 1 is 1. So that's going to be hmm, 1,050, 60, 1,060, 1,065. 1,066. Yeah, that's correct, isn't it? Oh, and guess what date that is? That's when the Normans invaded um, England. 1066, the Battle of Hastings. And here's another one. Another important date, well, it's important to me anyway. Now, X, X. Okay, this one, well, we got 1,000, haven't we? 1,000 plus D, 500. C, 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 that's 4C, so that's plus 400, isn't it? 400, blah, 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 blah. Then we got L plus 50. Oh, I didn't mean to do, what am I doing? I didn't mean 4,000, did I? Silly, Daniel. I meant 400. Hmm. Yeah, we go. Okay, where are we now? Oh, yeah, then 50, which is L, then plus 10, plus 20, XX is 20, plus 3 is 1973. That's the year I was born, so it's very important to me, that one. Okay, so there is where, they, where the numbers go, the largest to the left, smallest to the right. Now, what can sometimes other kind of things that can happen are these. So you can have one V. You see, and you notice the smaller number, the one, is becoming coming before the larger number, the five. And this means four. Is one less than five is four. But it's special that the smaller number is coming before the larger one. So you could, for example, have also that. What do you think that is? That's X is 10, 1 is 1. So 1 less than 10 is 9, isn't it? Or you could have XL. Well, L is 50, X is 10. So that's 10 less than 50, which is 40. Or you could have XC. C is 100, X is 10, 10 less than 100 is 90. Or, and I suppose you could have C, D, well that's, D is 500, C is 100, that's 100 less than 500, 400. 
And there's also, you could have CM. Well, M is a thousand, C is 100, 100 less than a thousand is 900. So there are those numbers as well. And you can always tell them because the smaller number comes before the larger number. Usually with Roman numerals, it goes large on the left going to smaller on the right. If you see a smaller one creeping in, sneaking itself in before the larger one, you know there's going to be one of those ones. So for example, um, mm, 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 LX 1V. Well, we say L is 50, isn't it? Plus 10, fine. Then we go, ooh, there's a one before the five. That's a sign that that must be four, which is going to be 64, is it not? And then we could have X, one, X, X is 10. Ooh, but there's a one coming in before the X. So that means that that must be a nine. Nineteen. <laughs> What's the next one I've got? Then C, X, L. C is 100, of course. Ooh. The X is coming in before the L. X 10 is less than L 50. So that must be one unit and that must be 40. 140. Or we could have M X C. M is 1000. Ooh, X is 10 is less than C 100. So that must be a unit there. That must mean 1,000 plus 90, 1,090. And we've got another one, I think. Oh yeah, I've got another one. This is another one. So here we have M, 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 C, M, 1, V. Well, M, M, M is going to be 3,000, isn't it? And then C, M, R. C is 100, which is less than M, 1,000. So this must be 900. Ooh, and then we got 1, V. Well, 1 is less than V, 5. So that must be 4, which equals 3,900 and 4. So I hope you found that useful. And if you get really keen on all the Roman stuff, you can look into study Roman history, which you might also already be doing. Or you can learn the Roman language, which is Latin, which is very important and interesting and wonderful and beautiful. I did it at GCSE. I don't know it very well, but it was great when I did it. So that's fabulous. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and have great fun with those Roman numerals and look out for them. I live in Oxford. There are lots of old buildings and you can see Roman numerals everywhere. So look out for those Roman numerals and have a go at deciphering them. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you so much for listening. Bye bye.